coming up on today's episode of Airborne Unlimited. One more orbit to make circumnavigation record attempt. EAA and WAI celebrate a dozen years of women venture. And 60,000 young eagles enrolled in Sporties Learn to Fly course. Welcome, I'm Sophie Herlock. One More Orbit is the multinational attempt to break the world record for the fastest circumnavigation of the Earth via both poles in a Qatar Executive Gulfstream G600ER ultra long range business jet. The attempted record is being done during the 50th anniversary celebrations of the Apollo 11 moon landing and is a tribute to space exploration of the past, present, and future. Let's take a look at video of the One More Orbit crew, which was live streamed onto their YouTube page earlier today. The effort is being led by former NASA astronaut Terry Virts, who will join the flight in Kazakhstan along with Russian cosmonaut Gennady Padalaka. The team launched from Space Florida's launch and landing facility at NASA's Kennedy Space Center yesterday and will complete their mission here as well, the same place where Apollo 11 launched their historic mission 50 years ago. The circumnavigation attempt will cross both the North and South Poles, making planned 45-minute fuel stops in North Sultan, Kazakhstan, Port Louis, Mauritius, and Punta Arenas, Chile. The speed record will be certified by the FAI and Guinness World Records. Stick around. When we return, a Saudi airline drops Boeing 737 MAX orders in favor of Airbus airplanes. There's never been a better time to become a pilot. At the Sling Pilot Academy, you can get your private, commercial, and instrument ratings in nine months for less than $63,000 and do it in modern, fun airplanes. Your flight training is going to be as exciting as your future career as an airline pilot. SlingPilotAcademy.com Sandia introduces the new SAI 340 Quattro TSO'd airspeed, attitude, altitude, and slip. With integral backup battery, safety never looked so good. See it now at www.sandia.aero. Welcome back. Let's take a quick look at some interesting news coming out of the aviation industry in today's trip around the patch. Saudi Arabian airline Fly a Deal has canceled an order for up to 50 Boeing 737 MAX airliners in favor of a similar order for Airbus A320 family airplanes. The order is in response to continuing growth in passenger demands across domestic, regional, and international routes. Deliveries of the Fly a Deal aircraft will commence in 2021. EASA has lifted restrictions put in place by the April Emergency Airworthiness Directive on Cessna Citation jets equipped with Atlas active winglets. This comes in the form of an STC amendment that includes EASA Service Bulletin SB1480. The new service bulletin requires that all Textron Aviation models 525, 525A, and 525B fitted with Tamarack's active winglet technology incorporate all existing product improvements. The FAA has announced new airspace restrictions, which go into effect tomorrow, on unmanned aircraft systems attempting to fly over national security sensitive locations. The FAA has been cooperating with federal partners to address concerns about malicious drone operations by using the agency's existing authority under Title 14 of the Code of Federal Regulations Section 99.7 Special Security Instructions. A list of the 12 restricted locations requested by the the U.S. Department of Defense can be found on the FAA's website at FAA.gov under the News and Updates section. Last week, NATA and the University of Maryland signed a sponsored research agreement to review the causes, hazards, and associated costs of accidental discharges of foam fire suppression systems. The project will also address high expansion and low expansion foam systems in addition to determining the rationale for the requirement of foam systems included in the National Fire Protection Association 409 for aircraft hangars. We'll be right back with the rest of the news. Today is a new dawn. With a new name. Un nuevo logotipo. A new factor. Und einen globalen Kundenfokus. We are Continental Aerospace Technologies and we stand behind you. Hey! 
there's a difference between charting a steady course and pushing for the ceiling. And for nearly a century, Hartzell Propeller has been defining that difference. It's in our passion for engineering and research and our dedication to testing the limits of performance. We are built on honor. We are Hartzell Propeller. For the 12th year, women attending EAA AirVenture will enjoy a show within a show as a host of women venture activities take place. EAA Women Venture is an annual celebration of women from all facets of the aviation community. Activities are scheduled during the week of EAA AirVenture Oshkosh to provide women the opportunity to connect with other women who love aviation and build camaraderie with the EAA and WAI communities. WAI's Connect Breakfast takes place on Wednesday, July 24th, starting at 8 a.m. and is held at the Paul H. Paparezny Conference Center. For a complete list of women venture events scheduled during EAA AirVenture Oshkosh, head over to EAA.org. EAA's Young Eagles program, which has provided over 2.1 million young people with free demonstration flight experiences, continues to guide the youth towards lifestyle of aviation by offering free enrollment in Sporties Learn to Fly courses. The program reached a major milestone back on June 28th, as 60,000 kids have now enrolled in the virtual pilot school. The Sporties Learn to Fly course offers ground school, test prep, and real-world training all in one easy-to-use system. Learning content consists of dynamic in-flight HD video, 3D animations, and easy-to-understand instruction that prepares students to earn private recreational and sport pilot certificates. Students also gain access to narrated flight maneuvers, powerful analytics tools, and even access to a CFI if extra help is needed. For the past nine years, Sporties has offered the Learn to Fly courses valued at almost $200 to the Young Eagles free of charge, giving Young Eagles the best of the best when it comes to flight training resources. And that wraps things up for us today. Thanks for watching and please subscribe and check us out on Facebook and on Twitter. And head over to aero-news.net for real-time coverage of the latest aviation and aerospace news. I hope you have a wonderful rest of your day and come back tomorrow for an episode of AMA Drone Report.